Hi everyone, this is Diary of a Mystic. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm a clairvoyant medium based out of West Virginia. I'm doing a video on new information that has been released by authorities today on Monday, April 22nd, surrounding the Delphi murders in Delphi, Indiana. There has been new information and their focus has shifted on someone who either lives or had lived in Delphi, Indiana, or used to live in Delphi. Authorities stated, and I quote, we believe you are hiding in plain sight, unquote. This is the release of the sketch that is quite different from the first sketch that was released. I have performed a Lenormand reading, which I will show you here in a couple of minutes. Surrounding the deaths of Abby Williams, 13 years old at the time, and her best friend, Libby German, who was 14 years old at the time, on February 13th, 2017. Their bodies were found the next day, February 14th, 2017. I have received some names as well as a number, so I wanted to share that with you first. In doing clairvoyant readings, many things will come to me, including images, names, dates, numbers, and locations. Please keep an open mind into what I share with you as these may or may not relate to this case. The first word that came to me was Townsend, then Road, the number 31, the name Longer Beam, and I also received Township. So if you've watched my previous videos, when names or places come to me, I will of course hop on Google and I will try to find these places on a map. There is no Townsend, Indiana. And I also want to state I've never been to Indiana. There is, however, Townsend Road in Martinsville, Indiana. So I Googled Townsend Road and Martinsville, Indiana came up. The interesting part about that is the distance between Delphi, Indiana and Martinsville, Indiana is one hour and 47 minutes which is relatively close. The name Longer Beam, I'm not sure if that would apply to the suspect in any, any type of name, but the name Longer Beam came to me as well. And 31 to me would indicate an age. So I wanted to share that with you first before we proceed to the Lenormand reading. Lenormand is very different tool of divination from the Tarot. It's read more from a literal standpoint rather than symbolic images. And it also is good in corresponding or creating a story or a storyline. So I wanted to share these things with you first and then proceed to the reading. When we look at the reading itself, and I have done nine cards, three on each row, the Lenormand can be read various numbers of ways. So this is a nine card spread. The first row, the three cards and the second and the third, the Lenormand is not read and reversed. There are no reversals in Lenormand. 
The first card that we see is the image of ship, which is movement. So there's definite movement, or this also could be the suspect has moved if authorities believe that he lived in Delphi, Indiana. He has moved with ship coming in. Ship is a great indicator of movement. It can also be an indicator of travel, traveling. It can also be an indicator of moving across water or living near water. Next to ship, we have letter. Letter is very significant when it comes to news or messages. It can also indicate any type of written message. There also could be an indicator that they have some type of authorities may have some type of or had received obviously tips or leads or information, but I'm also picking up on that there could actually be something written uh, with this person's handwriting or signature. So there's communication. Next to this, we have Stork. And Stork is normally a card which can indicate any kind of change. This is a good change. So any type of information that they have received, obviously this is leading towards a more positive direction in finding this person. And it's also a card of relocation and travel. So I feel that this person, the suspect of the sketch that they have released does not currently live or presently live in Delphi. They have moved or relocated through work. and they definitely have traveled. The second line we see, we begin with cross. And cross is a card that can indicate loss, can also indicate heaviness, burden, grief, suffering, this is a negative card. So now the cross has entered the reading to validate or confirm that suffering and grief and heaviness and the burden of this case, those energies have been felt and are still present. Next to this, we see tower. Tower is not the same as it would be in the tarot deck tower card. Tower here is speaking of authority, government, high position. Okay, so we're dealing with now authority. So authority figures, law enforcement, investigators, this is their card. So they definitely are on the case, and this is also speaking of a high position. This also could indicate that this person may also work in government as well. So there could be two different dualities to that. This could indicate authority or law enforcement. This also could indicate this person lives in a high-rise apartment or lives in a taller structure or building because next to this card we have house. So the house card is your home, it's your dwelling, okay? So it's a neutral card. So whatever cards are around the house card can very much indicate or match up to something more specific. So Tara comes in, either this person lives around or lives in a taller structure perhaps, or even works in government themselves. So house is your home, environment of the home. This also could indicate 
uh, and I picked up on this with this person as well, that they are a father themselves, possibly. So just keep that in mind. The images that we have seen relatable to this case of the man walking across the bridge looks much older, and now the new sketch looks much younger or a younger male. So do not be surprised if this person is not a father themselves, as well as not just being uh, a loner. I'm also picking up that they may possibly have their own family or be a father themselves. The third line we see moon, and this is an interesting line because this is, uh, I feel that the girls are coming through in the final line. So we have moon, dog, and woman. Moon is very much about public recognition, fame, pu publicity, and success. So there is success coming, and this case has been widely recognized and highly talked about and publicized for the last two years. So because of that, that's where the moon card comes in. This moon card, very different once again from the traditional tarot deck, totally different divination system. So moon is very much about public recognition and positivity and success. So I very much feel that the lead that they may be working on will prove to be fruitful or successful. Next to this, we have dog. Okay, dog is friend. Dog is loyal. Dog is very much about faith, trust, and it's a very positive card. It can also represent guardian angel ener energies as well. So this is next to woman, and the woman is a significator card, and her only description is woman. I feel that the woman who is looking at the dog, look at her position. She's looking at dog. This may be indicative of female energy between the two girls in terms of best friend, loyalty, faithfulness upon each other. Can also represent angelic energies as well. So I feel that there have been a lot of obstacles that the authorities have come up against or barriers or blockages or delays. And things may have been at a standstill at some point, but something definitely has obviously been on the move, especially going back to ship that begins the reading. Ship can indicate movement in this case, obviously. Okay, but it can also indicate some type of travel or traveling that this suspect has taken. So even though the authorities have released that this person they believe lived in Delphi, Indiana, still lives there or possibly did. Okay, I'm from what I'm getting, and I don't know if Townsend Road in Martinsville, I didn't look too deep into that. You're welcome to check that out. Townsend Road in Martinsville, Indiana. What is there? What is on that road? What is on that street? Is longer beam a correlation or a tip or a clue from spirit through me into this case? Longer beam, is that a last name? Are there longer beams that live in Indiana? Is that a common name in Indiana? Do longer beams live in Martinsville, Indiana? So this is my follow-up reading to the Delphi case. I will continue to read up on this case as well, if you're following this case or if you're new to this case. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and all of the support. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. Stay blessed, everyone. 
and I'll speak to you soon.